Hi, I'm David Ainsworth, Head of Communications at the United Nations Secretary of the Convention on Biological Diversity. Welcome to Biodiversity Beat News Review for the 14th of March, 2022. We're coming to you from Geneva, where world governments have come together uh, under the Convention on Biological Diversity face to face for the first time in two years to discuss and move forward on a global plan to save the biodiversity of our planet. These meetings are the preparation for a final agreement that needs to take place at the UN Biodiversity Conference, uh, always otherwise known as COP15, in Kunming, China, later this year. There's a lot of work ahead of the delegates. Some of the issues include the question of how much of the planet should be protected? Should it be 30%? If it is that much, how do we pay for it? And what's the role of Indigenous peoples and local communities in the management of these particular areas? The delegates will also discuss the question of uh, subsidies that damage the environment. There's the question, could we redirect $500 billion of wasteful subsidies in ways that would lead to biodiversity positive outcomes? Overall, all of the discussions of targets and goals is about how do we create the transformative change needed for sustainable development and a way to stop the loss of species and ecosystems. So the participants to this meeting received a very direct message from Elizabeth M. Rema, the Executive Secretary to the Convention on Biological Diversity. And she says to them, governments need to be a path onto consensus here in Geneva. So today also saw statements in plenary by a number of governments referring to the war in the Ukraine. Statements by Ukraine and Russia also referred to it as well, reminding us of the impact of conflict on the environment and also reminding us that multilateralism is a crucial path forward out of a number of challenges we face uh, for all of humanity. The day today was primarily to organize the work for the weeks ahead. So small discussion groups were set up to cover the different thematic areas and the planning for the conversations uh, was set into motion. So I invite you all to join me every two days for the next several weeks and we'll give you the updates for the process and let you know what's going on uh, in these important global discussions. We'll see you soon.